Hello everyone and welcome to the new year. Happy New Year to everybody. It is now um twenty twenty two, but let's get this um week seventeen of the NFL season started. Now I will not be picking the Falcons and the Bills, um because if I'm not picking on any of the Falcon games, so let's because I would just pick the Falcons to win, you know. Um, let's go. First game, Chicago and the Giants. I'm going with Chicago. And I don't know if Justin Fields is going to be back for that game. But I think, even if he isn't, I think if if uh, Nick Foles starts, he could beat the Giants. And I don't know where the Giants are going. They just aren't going anywhere. I mean, Bears aren't either, but in this game, I'm going with the Bears. Next game. Now, this should be a shootout. Um, Balt I mean, Kansas City versus uh, Cincinnati. Joe Burrow versus uh, Patrick Mahomes. It's going to be a good game. I mean... Cincinnati may have a shot to upset Kansas City. However, I'm going with Kansas City to win in a shootout. The next game, Miami and Tennessee. The Dolphins, since starting 1-7, and seven, are 7-0, seven and, oh, and they're 8-7. and seven. Tennessee's been up and down a little bit. You know, they still find themselves 10-5. Um, they are without Henry, you know, since week eight or whatever. The Dolphins, do I think they're willing to continue? Honestly, no. I know the Dolphins have been playing good, but I don't know if they will beat Tennessee. I'm going to go with, um, Tennessee. It may be close. Probably will be, but I think Tennessee will win. Next game, the Raiders and Indianapolis. I'm going to Indianapolis because Carson Wentz is supposed to be back. And he might be, he cleared the protocols. And he might play. And if he plays, I'm going with uh, Indianapolis. And Jonathan Taylor and stuff, you know, they're going to run through. Um, yeah, they're going to win. Uh, next game, Patriots and Jacksonville. Now, I have no idea where Jacksonville is going. They are a joke this year. Um, I'm going with New England to beat Jacksonville, and they will beat them pretty easy. Jacksonville is just not any good. Next game. Tampa traveling to the Jets. Well, I'm going with um, Tampa to win this game. It's not even really going to be close. I'll be surprised if it is. Uh, next game, Philadelphia and Washington. As much as I want to pick Washington, I... Honestly, don't think I can. Um, I'm going to pick the Eagles. Um, the next game, Baltimore versus the Rams. Uh, the Rams are playing good now. Um, you got Cooper Cup, who's having an outstanding season. Yeah, um, I think Baltimore should be getting the Mark Jackson back, which will help them. <laughs> However, I think uh, the Rams will win. Next game, the Chargers and the Broncos. Now, see, this could be anyone's game, but I'm going to go with the Chargers. The next game. Houston versus the 49ers. Now, 49ers uh, are playing possibly without Gawap, you know, 
Garoppolo, Garoppolo, but at the same time, he could, he's probably planning to play, so he, he injured his thumb, you know, um, and David Mills for Houston has been playing all right. Um, Houston just won a game that no one thought they would. I'm going to go with the 49ers, though, because I don't think they're as good as... I don't think Houston's good enough to beat the 49ers. The next game, Dallas and Arizona. Now, this is a tale of two teams, right? Dallas is playing good. Arizona had been good, but they have lost... Uh, they ha are not doing good anymore. They have been losing. Um, they have been losing. And I'm going to go Dallas to beat Arizona. Arizona's uh, going down the wrong, the wrong time, you know. <clears throat> um... Here we go to the next game. Carolina going to New Orleans. Carolina is another team that started 3-0, and right? And they've been bad since. Um, what are they? 3-0, they, they're like 2-10 and since. 2-10 and since starting 3-0. Everybody thought Sam Darnold was the... Fits there. And then look what happened. He started struggling. And then they brought in Cam Newton. And everybody thought that was good. But he said, oh, I'm back. And now look at him. He's 0-5. So, I guess he is back to losing. But, anyways, I'm going with New Orleans to win against Carolina. I don't see Carolina beating him. And I, I don't know. I just don't. Next game, Seattle and Detroit. Now, I can see Detroit upsetting C uh, Seattle, but I'm going with Seattle to beat Detroit. You won't have to deal with snow unless there's any, unless there's still snow left, because there has been snow still in Seattle. Um, but the weather, I think, is supposed to rain, so they might have to deal with rain, and I still think, but I think Seattle wins. Because I don't know if Garrett Goff is going to play. Uh, he's not, he's doubtful, and if he played, they might have a shot, but I just don't see Detroit winning. I mean, yeah, they could, but I just don't see it happening. Next game, the Sunday night game, Green Bay and Minnesota, I'm going with Green Bay. Kirk Cousins is not going to play. Um, you got Sean Mannion as the quarterback, so Green Bay will easily win. And then, finally, the Monday night game, Pittsburgh versus Cleveland. Now, Cleveland's three and a half point favorites. They're not very good. Well, and Pittsburgh, they're not very good either. They're, sometimes they look okay, and then other times they're like, um, we don't know, we're bad. So this is a battle of, I don't know, bad team. I am going to pick Pittsburgh to beat Cleveland now and there you have it folks week 17 in the books next week will be the final regular season week of the season and I hope you guys join me for that uh, click that like button subscribe uh, comment you know I'll see you guys next time see ya